In Korea, there is hyo, which refers to the duty between parents and their children. But that doesn't really explain what hyo is all about. My friends and I were given an assignment to produce a UCC on the meaning of hyo. What does hyo mean in Korean? We attend a school for foreigners. Hi. In Korea, this thing called hyo is really important in the culture. It's about respecting your parents, okay? And UCC is a great way to share our information with other people. So today, your assignment is going to be making a UCC. We're going to share it with our friends, okay? Yes. Okay. Okay. Hyo. Do you know the meaning of hyo? I'm not really sure. Is it manners? We didn't know where to start with this unexpected project. So we decided to have a discussion. But we don't even know what hyo means. How are we supposed to make the UCC? I'm not sure, but I think I have an idea. I have a Korean friend. Let's give her a visit. Oh, I want to go with you. Take me with you. OK. Then what should we do? Well, I've seen a school where they teach Korean manners on TV before. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could go there. OK, sounds like a good idea. Let's go. OK, let's go. First, we decided to find out more about Hyo. Sophia and I visited a Sodang, hoping to learn more about Korean culture and etiquette. Wow, I never saw this before. This is a traditional Korean school called Sodang. Oh, interesting. I think there's some students in there. You want to check it out? OK, that sounds fine. In the traditional school, students were in the middle of a lesson. Before learning about Hyo, we put on Hanbok. Um, I don't really exactly know how to do this thing. I don't know where to use this. Hanbok or Korea's traditional style clothes. We found out that wearing Hanbok properly is the first step in learning about etiquette. Oh, now it makes sense how to wear it. Thank you. It's an easy task, and Sophia volunteered with confidence. Here it is. Okay. Hugh begins with small things, like using both hands to give something to elders. The teacher wrote a Chinese character on a piece of paper, but to us, it just looked like a drawing. The character signifies a child who carries his parents on his back. In other words, caring for and taking care of one's parents is one's duty as a child. This is Hyo. I think it means like parent is putting back right in the child and the child is taking care of the parent. Yeah. There's something like that. Wow. We learned the right way to greet one another. First, put your hands together. We were used to shaking our hands to both adults and our friends. But it was amazing to learn that we could show respect to adults in a greeting. Thank you. Annyeonghaseyo. Oh, Jungtae-guna. Insa-do 참 잘하네. Annyeonghaseyo. Annyeonghaseyo. Oh, nya. Hakkye gatta oh, nya. Ne. Greeting an adult with respect. 
This is the essence of Hyo, which is embedded in the lives of Koreans. Thank you very much for teaching me about Hyo. It was a short visit, but a lasting lesson on Hyo. Okay. Thank you for teaching us about Hyo. Hyo wasn't something difficult. Meanwhile, Hana and Sergei visited the house of their friend Yusong. At Yu Sung's, three generations live together in one house. <laughs> Hannah and Sergei were invited to dinner. They were told that they could learn more about Kyo from Korean table manners. The family sits down around the table, and Sergei is just about to eat. But then... I don't understand. Grandpa sits down and the meal begins. It's customary to wait for the oldest person before beginning to eat. This reflects the basic spirit of Hyo, which is about respecting one's parents. There's another side of Hyo that can be seen during meal time. To Sergei, watching Yu Sang's father offer good food to his parents was an unfamiliar sight. Why do you give to all the first? Korea's show is about thinking of your elders first when you see or eat something good. The spirit of Hyo is evident during mealtime in the family of three generations. It's not hard to be a dutiful child. I think Hyo is actually about the simple things. Yes, it's just offering the best food you have to the eldest. It's something everyone can do. Showing respect to your parents. That is Hyo. My friends and I produced a UCC based on what we've learned. It was fun to dress up and express our understanding of Hyo. Good my acting is. Yeah, I like that face. That was funny. Yeah, yeah, that was a good expression. Let us all together say hello. We changed the lyrics to a children's song to express how we should all remember Hyo. Will we be able to show our friends what Hyo is really about? Say hello. Show UCC. Yay! Finally, we'll be showing our UCC to class today. Okay, we're gonna start class right now. Is everybody ready to start? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, in last class, we talked about these respectful behaviors for other people such as you know, showing respect for elders and caring for other people. And specifically, we talked about um, a special thing in Korea, which is Hyo. Let's start. The title of our UCC is Hyo Song. Our song managed to grab the attention of our classmates. Say hello.
along. Good morning. Let us all together say goodbye. See you later. Let us all together bow our heads to each other. Let us all together say hello. Let us all show respect to our elders. Please sit here. Let us all show respect to our elders. I'll carry that. Let us all together show respect to our elders. Let us all show respect to our elders. Let us all be good to our parents. Yes, we're happy. Let us all be good to our parents. Thank you for having me. Let us all be good and thankful to our parents. Let us all be good to our parents. Did our friends learn that Hyo isn't something difficult? It was very funny and interesting because they put so much details in it. So much detail, that's great. So what do you guys... Think about the clip. Do you want to share your thoughts or? Yeah. I think Hyo is a very important part of the Korean manners and it's something everyone can do. Let's give a round of applause for them, okay? The spirit of Hyo in Korea is about the duty and proper mindset that lie between parents and children. We learned that it is a basic element of life in Korea and also something everybody lives by.